Thank you, Danielle. Well, new at nine, it is back to school time for the kids, right? We all know backpacks are essential because they hold all the supplies that your kids need to take on the day. But by that same idea, we should be making sure that we are prepared for anything in our relationships as well. So this morning we're asking, what is in your relationship backpack? And I love this idea and concept. And joining us this morning is relationship expert, author, and pastor Derek Triplett. Great to have you as always. always good to be you here. are the expert in all things. <laughs> but I, I really do like this idea, right? Because because we send the kids off to school, we're like, oh, do you have this? Do you have this? Right. Do you have this? Because you want to start your day and your in your life really organized with everything you need. Absolutely. But we don't bring that to our relationships. We really don't. And when I thought about the concept, we pack our kids backpack to make sure that they're able to function during the day. Mm -hmm. So what am I ready to do today? Am I ready for my relationship today? Because relationships are day to day. You got to show up every day right. and you got to show up ready. Okay, so let's start with the first thing on your list. Uh, notebook, laptop, or tablet. Why is that important? Notebook, laptop, or tablet. That's what you take notes with. You're paying attention to the professor or the teacher. You're writing down notes and you've got to have those good notes so that you can pass that test. In the relationship, your notebook, tablets, or, no, or, or laptop, how am I paying attention to my, my partner so that I can be attentive to my partner? Am I watching? What is he or she do, dealing with? What is he or she going through? What is he or she facing? What do they need? What's on her schedule today so that I can know what I need to do in order to help? I love that. Okay, let's move on to number two, uh, homework. What, do, what homework. do we need to do in our relationship as far as homework is concerned? That is a terrible memory from high school. <laughs> had a teacher, you had, to, when you showed up, turning your homework, first thing. If you didn't turn in your homework, then the rest of the day was shot. You get a zero for the day for not turning in your homework. Your homework is what am I accountable for today? What in this relationship am I accountable for today? My relationship is not on automatic pilot. My relationship is not five years from now. My relationship is today. My relationship isn't yesterday. I can't ride on you. I bought flowers yesterday, so I'm good today. Mm -hmm. No, what am I accountable for today? What does my partner need from me right now today? And I think we sort, we sort of shy away from that concept that marriage is work, right? Yeah. Because that makes it seem not fun. But that there really is no way to get through marriage without working on it. It's work. Right? All relationships, all real relationships are work. You got to show up to do the work. Got to clock in every day. Okay, let's move on to number three, uh, books. Books. The books, if I've got books in my backpack, it shows a willingness to learn. It shows a willingness not only to learn, but it shows a willingness on the college level to invest. Because guess what? The books have to be paid for. Right. So I'm saying I'm willing to invest in learning my partner. I'm willing to invest in learning about our relationship, but I'm also willing to learn about relationships in general. So if I need to go to a relationship conference, if I need to write, uh, uh, read a book that Derek Triplett just happened to have written, <laughs> but if I need to buy a book, I'm willing to invest in that because some of us come to relationships thinking that we know it all just because we've had a few in the past. No, you may need to learn some other things and be willing to carry the weight of those books in your backpack. And just like every child is different, every relationship is different every too, right? Every relationship is different. Okay, uh, water and snacks. Water and snacks. That's personal nourishment. I've got to feed me. I've got to take care of me. If I'm going to be functional in my relationship, i got to take care of Derek. Sometimes we go overboard in being attentive to our partner and we don't take care of ourselves. So then we end up resenting the fact that we've gone overboard or we just wear out. And so you've got to make sure that in the relationship, you've got nourishment and hydration and nutrition and fun and all of that for yourself. Take care of you. And why do we have to have hand sanitizer? Sanitizer, Derek. Hand sanitizer. You got to clean <laughs> the germs that you came in contact with all day. I had germs in my mind, in my thoughts, hard day at work. I can't bring all of that home every day. I had to 
trouble with my business. I can't bring all of that home every day. Sometimes your partner needs your best even after you've had a bad day. Right. So clean right. that it's stuff off. It's the kick the cat concept, isn't right. it? It's like I had a bad day all day. I come home. The first thing I do is I kick my wife Absolutely. or the kids or whoever is in my way. And, and it, it just brings everybody down. Sometimes you take five minutes before you go in the house, do a mental cleansing. That's the hands. Let me, let me decompress. Let me detox so I can go in and give my family the best. I love it. Good stuff. You're the best. Derek Triplett, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You can follow him everywhere. Make sure you follow him on social media. Read his books. They're the best. <laughs> All right, Danielle, back to you. Hey.